Hey guys, it is Danny, and welcome to this video. And I'm here with updates on the Atlantic. So once again, guys, we have our four tropical cyclones, three hurricanes of those four, and tropical storm Vicky. And we have three invests. And it seems like maybe by the end of this week, two of our invests could become named Storms, Wilfred, and Alpha. And then it is possible also for Beta. But we will look at all of these individually and talk about the probability of them becoming tropical cyclones and how strong they might get. And so guys, before I go into the details with this video, please do subscribe if you haven't and tap the bell so you know every time when I post a new video because I will keep you guys updated on tropical cyclone activity right through the season. And you can also follow me on Instagram. My other account is other girl Danny and my personal account is Danny Henry Official. Okay guys, so first we want to take a look at Invest 99L and that is the one located up to the top right hand corner of your screen so that is given a little 20 percent chance of development and it is possible for this to acquire some subtropical characteristics and could become a subtropical cyclone and a lot of times we see these come on quite quickly so we definitely have to watch this one and it could be a threat to portions of the um the iberian peninsula so if you're there guys you want to be cautious because this could come with some very heavy rainfall and also those gusty winds and next let's look at that tropical disturbance located over in the gulf in the Bay of Campeche and so that is given a medium 60% chance of development through the next five days so it is moving erratic it's just loitering over there and so the possibilities there for this to develop because upper level winds will be conductive for this one so if you're along the Gulf Coast you want to be cautious especially in Mexico so it is possible for this to make landfall maybe along any of the Gulf Coast states so we definitely have to watch it and this has the potential to be a tropical cyclone maybe by the end of this week and on satellite view there we have it so it is looking a lot better than it did yesterday and so we're definitely expecting some development. So if this develops before any of the other invests, it will acquire the name Wilfred. But if any of the invests be develop before this one, I'd say most likely Invest 98L, which we will go to very shortly, um, this will become Alpha, which would have been the next name um, to be used because the list would have been exhausted. And so there is Invest 98L. Alright guys, so at this time is it is given a high 70% chance of development. I believe this is stagnant from yesterday. And so development is expected to slowly occur and um, it, the chance is high for this to become a tropical system. So maybe by the time it is just a couple hundred miles just to the east of the Windward Islands, we can definitely see this one developing into a tropical cyclone. So if you're in the Caribbean, you want to be cautious because it is possible for this to be a threat. And so now let's go on to what it um, looks like on satellites and so there we have it so not very organized but again conditions ahead of it are going to be favorable to support some tropical cyclone development and again if you're on the Caribbean especially the lesser Antilles you want to be cautious because this could be a threat and now let's go on to a tropical cyclone so first we want to take a look at tropical storm Vicky and so Vicky is holding on to that tropical storm status it was expected to start weakening by now but it is a fighter it seems and so it currently has sustained winds of 15 miles per hour and it is accelerating to the west northwest at nine miles per hour so we're expecting this to become a depression to weaken to a depression very soon and then it could dissipate by the end of this week as a post tropical cyclone or remnant low out in the atlantic and not going to be a threat to that and then what you're seeing now is the cone forecast for hurricane paulette so Paulette is rapidly moving to the east-northeast at 29 miles per hour. So a very fast-moving tropical system here. And it is also quickly transitioning into an extra-tropical cyclone. And so we're expecting it to achieve that status later today. And then we're expecting a sharp turn by sometime tomorrow, going into the end of this week to the south. And so we could see Paulette maybe dissipating by early next week. So fortunately, guys, it's not going to be a threat to land. And on that view, there we have it. So we're definitely seeing that transition into an extra tropical cyclone coming on quickly for it and so as i said fortunately it is no longer a threat to land it's just going to be in the open atlantic so now let's go on to hurricane sally a storm that's rapidly strengthened um an approach to the gulf coast as it is about as it was about to make landfall so sally is currently a category 2 hurricane it made landfall some time ago and so 
Looking at satellite view, we're seeing this compact hurricane bringing life-threatening conditions to portions of the Gulf Coast states, um, Mississippi, parts of Mississippi, Alabama, the Florida Panhandle, even all the way going into Georgia. So let, now let's go to the National Hurricane Center's cone forecast for Hurricane Sally and see what is expected from the cyclone. All right, guys. So at this time, it is moving to the north-northeast at just three miles per hour you can say this is almost a stationary tropical cyclone so we do have a hurricane warning which is highlighted in red still being in place for the coast of alabama going into parts of the florida panhandle and a tropical storm warning that is extended for um the coast out of mississippi and also parts of the florida panhandle as well and so sally is definitely expected to weaken also um due to land interaction which is one of those inhibiting factors when it comes on to tropical development and so despite weakening it is still going to be bringing those life threatening conditions the heavy rainfall that could cause flash flooding and areas can expect up to even 30 inches of rainfall and remember sally is not a fast moving tropical cyclone so it's going to be around for a while so you guys if you are well, the time has run out because most likely if you're there, you're probably experiencing some very heavy rainfall. So just please stay safe. And if you're also in Georgia or South Carolina, you could experience some rainfall. But fortunately, Sally is going to be quite weak at the time and it is going to be moving much faster. And then now let's go on to Hurricane Teddy. So Teddy recently became a Category 2 hurricane. And so we're not seeing much organization here on satellite, but... We're definitely expecting this because Teddy is expected to become a very powerful hurricane in the Atlantic. Fortunately, it is not going to be a threat to land um, during the next few days, I'd say down to the end of this week. And so we're expecting that Teddy is going to achieve major hurricane status. It could peak at a Category 3 with sustained winds of about, I'd say, 115 to 120 miles per hour. But again, fortunately, the, um, despite it's going to be so strong it is going to be in the open atlantic but maybe by early next week sometime on monday bermuda could be in for a direct hit i mean they just got hit by paulette and so teddy is likely to be the next landfall in tropical cyclone fortunately it is expected to weaken on approach but again guys the cone can change anything can change so guys we have a lot going on in the tropics at this time and so guys that is really it for this update and so guys if you found this video to be pretty informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and remember to always brother wise now keep giving updates as time goes by